This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create a transparent gradient mask using Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, if you'd like to sharpen your logo design skills, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I outline my entire creative process for designing logos from start to finish. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Illustrator, as you can see, I have an example graphic opened up. And the reason why I think this makes for a good example graphic is because it consists of multiple objects that we have to group together all at once. So before we get started here, I just want to make sure I have the, the, the proper windows open for this task here, which is going to be, uh, if you go to Window, we're going to want Control, Gradient, and Transparency. These are the two windows we want to open for this tutorial. So if you want to use this example graphic here, I'll have a link to it in the description to where you can download this for free. Otherwise, you can use whatever example graphics you'd like. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to click and drag over everything here and make sure I group it together by pressing Control G on the keyboard. Now that it's grouped together, I'm going to create a rectangle over this entire object here. So I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to click and hold over this tool right here, which will get this flyout menu with all our different shapes. The shape that I want to grab is the rectangle tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter M. And I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle going over the entire subject here. It doesn't matter if it extends beyond the boundaries of the subject. That's actually what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just make sure it's covering the entire subject. And I want to give this a gradient. So I'm going to come over here to the gradient menu. And if you click this drop down menu, you'll notice you can choose a white black gradient right here at the very top of the list. I'm going to choose that. And we now have a white to black gradient. And the way that layer masks works is that when you apply this mask, Everything that's white is going to become visible and everything that's black is going to become transparent and everything in between that grayscale area is going to be either partially partially visible, partially transparent based on how light or dark that particular shade is. So let me demonstrate how this works. With this rectangle selected, I want to go to edit, cut, and then I want to select select the subject here. Let me grab the select tool first. I want to select the subject and I want to come over here to the transparency window and I want to click this button right here that says make mask. Now if you notice when we click that the visibility of our object disappears but that's okay because we're going to get it back in just a second. If you notice over here you'll have this icon which displays your graphic and this icon right here which displays the mask. I want to click on that black square right there to control the mask and then I want to paste what I have cut to my clipboard in there. So I'm going to press control V on the keyboard to paste that in there and let me just center that up on the page there. And if you notice, now we're, we, what we have pasted in there, you'll notice in the preview here, the left side is white, the right side is black. You'll notice over here, the left side is more visible, the right side is less visible. And we can adjust this manually by grabbing the gradient tool, which is over here, or you could press G on the keyboard, and you could take these handles and just move these in if you'd like. This represents the black area, which is the, uh, the transparency. And this over here, the white handle, this is for opaqueness. And this over here, you can control the uh, depth of the gradient with this little handle between the two of them. So you can go ahead and adjust this if you'd like. You could even rotate this gradient if you'd like. You can, you can change it any, you can change it in any way that you would change any other gradient. And if you move, if you select the image here and then move it off of the screen, you'll see it is indeed transparent because you can see the gray artboard showing through it. So let me put that back over there. Once you're finished, what you can do is you can click on release. If you want to undo that, you can click release and that will get rid of the gradient. But I want to keep that great. I want to keep that, uh, that mask. So let me undo that. And uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating a transparent gradient mask using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.